this video will go some way to explain how to reconnect or connect your Zappy to your in-house Wi-Fi router. This may be because you've done a reset on the Zappy or you've changed the in-house Wi-Fi router because you've changed your internet service provider. To achieve this you're obviously going to need your Zappy turned on, you're going to need your in-house Wi-Fi router on and you're going to need to know the SSID for that router and also the access password. You're also going to need a Wi-Fi enabled mobile device. Now this can be a phone or a tablet as long as it will connect to your uh, house Wi-Fi router it should be good to go. So to start this process on the Zappy which is a version 2 Zappy with a built-in Wi-Fi unit we access the menu, we scroll down to other settings, hit plus, scroll down to internet and select Wi-Fi and then Wi-Fi config. Now my Wi-Fi is on, but if yours is off, just hit plus, and it will take a couple of seconds to um, activate and turn on. Now if it's on and you push plus, it will obviously switch it off, and it will take a few seconds to do that. So just push it until you get to uh, on. Then scroll down to uh, step three, which is scroll down to access point and again you want to switch this to on once that's on then we go back one step and we want to take note of this SSID here and the password that it's uh, chosen and once we've got that information then we need to go to either your phone or your tablet which has uh, Wi-Fi capability and we will go to the next step from there. So once we're now on the mobile phone we need to get into the Wi-Fi settings. Now on an Android mobile phone it's uh, used two fingers from the top and then uh, access the Wi-Fi router in the top left and force it to do a scan and you should find um, the, um, the, the access point from your Zappy listed. Now what we want to do is we actually want to forget the network and then select it again and this password here is the password that you see on the face of the Zappy. So that's changed from last time I believe. So it is case sensitive so take care of that. And I'm going to turn off auto reconnect and connect. Checking the quality of your internet connection. Connected without internet. Now that's fine. Keep Wi Fi connection. And then we want to go to the uh, cogged wheel on the right for settings. And then what we want to select is manage router. If this is the first time of resetting the Zappy, you will be asked to enter a password here. If you've already set a password, which I obviously have, then you need to enter that password. So let's see if I can remember what that is.
and now we have access to the Wi-Fi settings within the Zappi. In the detected networks box, you should see a list of the detected networks. You then need to find your house Wi-Fi router SSID. Select that and then you need to enter that password in the box in the bottom. Once you've done that, scroll up and hit apply and then your Zappi should therefore then be connected to your house Wi-Fi router. If you want to check that the Zappi is actually connected to your home network, you can go onto your mobile device and open the app and you should be able to see what's on the display here without any warning signs. If I click the car icon, it lets me look at uh, the settings and if I change something it should change the settings without coming up with any warnings. All right. If the Zappi was not connected to the network it would tell me that it was offline so it's all looking good and I'm going to set that back to 100%.